One of the questions that has cropped up very frequently recently on my videos has been, why would you mod a game such as Fallout 4 this early? Why would you not play through the game at least once before you even thought about creating or installing mods? And of course there are a variety of answers to that question, including just because we enjoy modding. For some of us, modding is a hobby. But there are actually plenty of reasons to install mods to improve the game at this point. Because you find things that irritate you, annoy you, or that are just uncomfortable. And one such thing in Fallout 4 is the keybind problem. Um, and, and Fallout 4 is not the first game this year to actually have this problem. Another game that is very much a game of the year contender, The Witcher 3, had an identical problem. It basically didn't allow you to use all the keys to bind keys, you couldn't change some keys, it had a lot of hard-coded keys, and not all of them made a lot of sense. And this is true in Fallout 4. Now, for those of you who are not PC gamers, obviously you know we use mouse and keyboard, but we can change what each key does in a process called key binding. We go along to controls, and as you can see, forward, back, strafe, left, strafe right, those are by default the actual WASD keys. They're the WASD keys on your keyboard. Quite a lot of people like to change them to arrow keys, some people are more comfortable that way, especially left-handed people. Um, and so, you know, this is something that we've been able to do in most PC games for decades. It's, it's considered, it's par for the course, it is absolutely expected, it's the sort of feature you just assume any half-decent game for a PC will have. You don't really think about it. You wouldn't list it as a feature. You expect it. It's, it's just part of how you play games on PC. It's kind of like mouse control. It's just... You, you just expect it. If a game doesn't have that, you are very surprised. And they've just done a terrible job of implementing it. I mean, there are a few problems with it. But the most egregious is the fact that you can't rebind certain functions. I'll give you an example. Activate. If I want to activate this terminal, the default key is E, as you can see. So if I just, you know, interact with the terminal, do my thing. If I want to pick up these glasses, I use the E key. Uh, the same is true if I want to examine... Everyone's dead. ...the skeleton, open doors talk to people, and of course, the most popular pastime of all, looting. So looting with the E key. Now this is normal. E is the default key, but of course it's pretty far away from the arrow keys. So it is very often one of the keys we like to rebind. And so I'm going to do that right now. I'm sure you're already getting a feeling of what is coming. I'm going to rebind it to a key that's near to the arrow keys, so it's easy to reach while running around. I'm going to change it to the right ALT key. Okay? So now, when I want to open doors, I use, or open and close, a right ALT key. Same with the terminal. However, when I go to loot, oh look, the E key. It didn't change. And there is no option for changing the loot key. There's just no option for it. Probably the most used key in the game, after fire and move, and it, it, it can't be rebound. It's, it's hard-coded to, to be E. I mean, it, this is, this is, well, it's weird is what it is. It's very, very strange. This means that I, I run forward here, I have to take my hands off the keys for movement, and then press the E key. Which is uncomfortable, slow, clumsy, and bloody annoying. And what makes it worse is, it's such an easy thing to get right. I mean, there are, I've seen people complain about things like no SLI support. I don't care. I mean, I, I use SLI, I would like SLI support, but 
I'm really easy about things like that. I, I've seen people complain about graphics, I've seen people complain about the voiced protagonist. None of this bothers me, I'm, I'm pretty forgiving of a lot of things. I haven't had any crashes yet, not that I've played long, but if I did, I'd be very forgiving of those too. But this is just... The thing is, is it's, it's very irritating, constantly. And worse than that, it's so unnecessary, it's so easy to do right. Why can't they just rebind that key? There's no technical reason why that is not possible. There's no reason why that key can't be changed the same way as the activate key can. None. None that I can see. I can't think of one. Um, and before anyone says, well, you don't know what you're talking about, you're not a programmer. Yes, I am. And I know what I'm talking about. In fact, here's the thing. I make mods for these type of games, and when I make a mod that detects key presses, I always allow the, the people who use my mods to change the key. If possible, I give them a nice, convenient little menu to change it as well. It's just, it, to me, it's just the obvious thing to do, and it's not that hard. It is not, I mean, compare that to getting SLI working. It's trivially easy. You're talking about simple key detections. It's baffling that they got this wrong. It's absolutely baffling that they got this wrong, to be honest. It really is. Now, I've found a way around it. I've programmed one of the buttons on my mouse to mimic the E key instead. So I can now just... I'm doing this with the mouse. I can now loot with the mouse. So it, it worked. I found a workaround, which is one of the things we tend to do in PC gaming. But it's so unnecessary. It's so daft. And things like this scream out for a modder to come and fix it. As, as was actually done on The Witcher 3. Now hopefully Bethesda will fix this sort of issue by themselves. Hopefully. But sometimes it takes them a long time. And so if somebody came along, hint, 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 modding community, and modded it so I could change all of these keybinds, that is a mod I would install instantly. It's a mod I would use. I don't believe it would change the vanilla experience. People keep talking about, you should experience the developer's vision. If the developer's vision is me screaming in aggravation because I have to constantly move my my hands backwards and forwards like I was auditioning for the Karate Kid, then, then, then bum to the vision of the developers. Thank you very much. I will take the mod. Um... I don't want to be doing that. Things like that take me out of the game and make me focus on what my bloody hands are doing, and I don't want that. No, I don't. So I modded away. Well, that's about all I want to say on that subject. I think I've rambled on long enough. If by some miracle there, are, there is a developer out there who manages to catch this video, I'm begging you. If you ever decide to port a game across from a console to a PC, Please, please, make sure that game has the bare minimum features to be considered a decent PC game. Certain features are just considered standard. They're considered, well, just required, essential, normal. If you're going to make a PC game... Do it properly. I'm not asking for, you know, massive differences in the PC version, but it should respect PC conventions regarding user interface and user interaction. It's, it's the core of your game, really. How we interact with the world and how the world interacts with us. That's, that's the core experience. You've got to get that right. And if you've got little things like this, little things that just kind of irritate and constantly remind you, constantly remind you that you're playing a game that's forcing you to do, do awkward or difficult things, it can ruin the experience. So please, bear that in mind.